Hey guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I just got back from running some errands and doing some things. Uh, I had to drop off some documents uh, at uh, some governmental places because, um, well, just because I had to since we moved. So, anyway, um, just wanted to uh, drop by a little bit and uh, talk to you about a blog uh, that I read. It's called Disney Star Wars is Dumb an article written by somebody named Itchy that I am following and follows me on Twitter. It's about Pablo Hidalgo uh, basically showing up on another blog saying, posting a picture of a guillotine on May Day and then saying, I, do, I just want to kill the rich people. All right, let me, let me tell you how weird and stupid that actually is. Um, Pablo Hidalgo works for Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm is a billion dollar company and the higher ups are very, very wealthy. Does he mean them? Does he mean Kathleen Kennedy? Does he mean Bob Iger? Does he mean George Lucas? Does he mean Harrison Ford? Does he mean Mark Hamill? Does he mean, you know, any of the people there that make a lot of money, right? Does he mean himself? He's not poor. And he's well fed, it's quite obvious by the girth on him. So here's the deal about Pablo. Pablo is half Chilean and half Can Canadian. Sorry guys, from Canada. Okay, it just, you know, I, you know, we, you should have sent him back to Chile, okay? Anyway, the mother's Canadian and his dad is uh, from Chile. And I'm pretty sure that the South American brand of Marxism uh, is pretty much <clears throat> uh, pretty ingrained in this guy. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him walking around or having a walking around with a Che Guevara t-shirt or uh, having a poster of just plain Che on his uh, walls at, in his office. Uh, che Guevara, for all those oh, those of you who don't know, or those of you who idolize him and shouldn't was a pretty sick son of a bitch, okay? Uh, he killed 600, over 600 people, executed over 600 people with his bare hands. There are photographs of him doing this. Um, tortured countless people. Uh, if you owned property, if you owned a store, uh, if you owned a farm, he, you were his enemy, and if he had to kill you, he would. Um, and he, there's no remorse. Uh, and the guy was a horrible homophobe. Uh, he killed and tortured and mutilated a lot of homosexuals. So, you know, this guy isn't a nice guy, but this is the kind of thing that I, I would assume Pablo Hidalgo would, um, great. Now we've got the, uh, the builders back and he's got his little hole digger making noise outside. Anyway, um, you know what, this is the kind of thing you would expect a guy like Pablo Hidalgo to say, considering what his upbringing was. I mean, I'm just speculating here, but it's is 95% sure that it really was Hidalgo on that blog saying what he said. This is the mindset of the people at Lucasfilm right now, um, which, is, which actually is in huge stark contrast to... George Lucas, who I think one of my favorite um, deleted scenes in A New Hope was Biggs explaining to Luke about what the Empire is really doing, and is it was almost it was a perfect libertarian rant. It was it is what it was, and it should have been left in the movie. I mean, if I had uh, the the ways and means of of turning that into a movie, you know, putting that into the movie, I would just to, A, add context to who Biggs is, and B, add context to what the Empire is doing. But anyway, that's just me. So we've got Hidalgo, who is literally the exact opposite of, um, 
uh, George Lucas, and he's running the story group. Uh, he is a flaming red from the top of his bald pate to the um, bottoms of his swelled feet. Okay, so there's that one. Number two, Jeremy over at Geeks and Gamers uh, did and just did a video about a Reddit rumor um, about what episode nine is going to be. This guy who calls himself or girl F O O S S L S uh, at Reddit um, basically said, uh, you know, he'd seen the storyboards, the first leak storyboards from episode nine, and apparently they've got. Leia, Ray, Finn, and Poe going off to this uncharted world to rescue a girl. Then they go to this ocean planet, discover how the First Order is making their money, and how um, it's just ter it, 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 It's just you know the the, the inhabitants there are, are being torn apart. And they're going to use this to expose the First Order because the galaxy is kind of like, well, they're, it's benevolent. We don't you know we're all pretty happy with this. Why are you still resisting? Well, then we've got um, uh, uh, that sounds stupid. It is. We've got Kylo Ren discovering that Hux is a mole for the for the resistance, and we've got. Ren and Rey being able to force text each other and even manifest physically and they fall in love. Yes, I heard all you've gag. I was like, just fucking stop it with the Raylo shit. Okay, just fucking stop it. It doesn't work. I mean, it's a continuation of this fucking fanfic. Fucking stop it. I almost feel like getting a Reddit account just to blow this guy up for even saying this. All right? You know, I mean, you know, what I would love to do is to get 4chan on this person's ass to find out who he really is. Because sometimes I actually think that Lucasfilm puts out these blurbs and rumors out there just to piss people off. They've been so good to the fans. You know how that is. So anyway, um, so there's that. We've got Pablo Hidalgo showing his true marks of self. And we've got um, this unbelievably fucking stupid uh, rumor about what the plot's going to be in episode 9. I mean, I, I, I actually wish they would do this because it would hasten the demise of Kennedy if she doesn't leave bef after Solo flops. Okay? So anyway, uh, you know, I just wanted to tell you all guys this is what's going on. Uh... You know, we've got a gremlin from the Kremlin at Lucasfilm running the story group, and we've got this heinous, unbelievable rumor. So, just wanted you all to be aware of what's out there. This is Steph, me, C, signing out. See you around the galaxy. Oh, and one quick note. Um, I am thinking about doing a video uh, about the backlash, um, about who is really, who are we, who we are as fans, uh, just to prove Disney's and the the idea that, that we're nothing but overweight average white guys. Uh, so let me know what you think. Um, in the comments, uh, you know, and then I, you know, tomorrow's the fourth, so it's not gonna be done. What I want to do is that what I want it, what I want is is to get a, a bunch of pictures of people, who they are, and uh, just, you know, just use it as a slideshow with, um, you know, uh, I think binary sunset as a, as the music background, and then and then let it dissolve. I think that would be really cool, but uh, let me know if, if you want to do that, and uh, I will put 
my uh, email uh, in the comments then. You guys can email me pictures or something. Uh, you know, just, just so we can, so I can do this, because it's going to be awesome. Okay, so this is Steph, again, signing out. See you on the galaxy.